7 Reasons to Visit the Cinque Terre is Gorgeous, 6th Town, Porto Veneri. 1. Porto Veneri is more than just a pretty fishing village. There are colorful houses lining the harbor as in many other Italian seaside towns, but here they also form part of a historical structure called the Palazzata. These connected dwellings built into the rocky shoreline were part of the town's fortified walls designed to protect residents, along with the ancient gate, Porta del Borgo, once locked in the evening, from seafaring invaders. 2. The town is layered with history, but not overwhelmed by it. There are enough places to keep history buffs interested without having to slog through a sightseeing checklist. Sites from the Middle Ages like the Doria Castle, a stronghold when the powerful Republic of Genoa ruled the town, and the churches, Chiesa di San Pietro and Chiesa di San Lorenzo, offer extraordinary views in addition to their architectural appeal. A Roman ruin dating from the 2nd century BC, the Villa Romana of Verignano, lies close to Porto Veneri in the village of Lagrezi. 3. You can take in the mesmerizing views that reportedly captivated the 19th century literary rock star, Lord Byron. Walk to the end of Via Capolini or down from the, the San Pietro Church. There's a lookout in an ancient stone wall where you can survey the scene above the glittery bay. There are also rocky steps that descend to the transparent green waters close to Byron's Grotto, one of the many beautiful sea caves in the area. Young couples flock here to enjoy the incomparable sunsets. Locals come to sunbathe and swim amid the jagged rocks. Be advised there are no lifeguards. 4. There's a nearby archipelago to explore by sea. The cluster of islands, Palmaria, Tino and Tineto, lying close to Porto Veneri are a sailor's dream. Palmaria is the largest and where you'll find the famous restaurant, La Conda Lorena, a longtime celebrity magnet. But travelers also come to the island for its get-away-from-it-all rustic charms, dramatic, rugged coastline, small villages and beaches. Join a scheduled boat tour leaving from the dock in Porto Veneri, or hire a private boat or catamaran to take in the cliff-lined shores carved with caves and coves. Palmaria also has walking paths, typically taking two to three and a half hours to complete, with knockout views of the Golfo dei Poeti and Porto Veneri. 5. Porto Veneri has the five-star hotel closest to the Cinque Terra. The Grand Hotel Porto Veneri sits in a gem of a spot overlooking the Porto Veneri Harbor and Palmaria. Visitors to the Cinque Terra who want five-star pampering come here. There are 50 rooms, the majority with sea views, along with two suites, that are airy, modern and coolly colored in sea tones or rich neutrals. Hotelier Raphael Paletti, whose family owns the property and oversaw its refurbishment in 2014, added to his holdings last year with the purchase of the Royal Sporting Hotel, also on the water and just down the road from the Grand Hotel. 6. You can stay in the heart of Porto Veneri's historic center, but enjoy modern comforts. If you like a richly evocative setting but want up-to-the-minute amenities, there's a new, opened last year, luxury B&B, called Colonna 24, named for its address on the tiny street about Porto Veneri's main walkway, Via Capolini. The sleek property, owned by Paolo Sanna and designed by La Spezia architect Davide Bossi, has five chic, modern rooms and one junior suite. The B&B is run by the brilliantly enthusiastic and savvy Emanuele Bertetti who will not only make you feel at home, but like an insider too. A native of Porto Veneri, Bertetti knows the area like few others and can advise on the best outings, restaurants, beaches and walking trails to make the most of your stay. 7. And savor Porto Veneri's unique take on Ligurian cooking. Every region in Italy has its own cuisine, of course, and each town seems to have its own take on that regional cuisine. Even though you'll find Ligurian mainstays like pasta with pesto, and focaccia, Porto Veneri offers local options that take advantage of the bounty of mussel and oysters farmed from the Gulf of La Spezia, as well as the anchovy halls from the nearby Cinque Terra. Antonella Celli, a third-generation restaurateur passionately committed to Porto Veneri's culinary traditions, says that while the area may be characterized by a poor kitchen than what you'd find in the northern part of the Italian Riviera, that doesn't mean the cooking is any less interesting, and cites such specialties as stuffed mussels. Here they are unique, in Meshiua, a bean and grain soup that originated in the port of La Spezia hundreds of years ago. In addition to the abundant seafood, Celli says the town's proximity to Tuscany makes everything much more interesting.